हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू थिंक कंप्यूटर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट कंडीशनल प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग स्विच के स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर मल्टी डायरेक्शनल कंडीशनल प्रोग्रामिंग सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द सिंटैक्स ऑफ स्विच केस so this is the syntax of switch case first we write switch then in the bracket we write any variable name which is the choice variable or where we have stored the option entered by the user basically we are going to make a menu and uh, user will select one option based on that selection one part of the program means one part of the switch case will work so switch variable name and inside of this we write cases so like case 1 colon sign then here we write some statements or a part of program we can write and then we will write a break okay break is a statement it's a keyword so then we have case 2 then we have case 3 okay so we can have multiple cases each case represents a condition okay a separate sub program you can say so we can write as many cases as we want at last we write default okay default is also a keyword so here we write any statement so how does it work well uh, the variable which you specify here based on the value of that variable any one case will work suppose that the value of that variable is 1 so the control will jump to case 1 and only case 1 will work remaining cases and default will not work suppose the user has entered the value 2 for the variable then it will directly go to case 2 and only the case 2's part will work and then it will not uh, go to default or any other case okay default is like a place of last resort means if the user has entered a choice or a value which is not matching with any of the cases then it goes to the default statement okay so default is just like writing else what we do in else in the if else statement if the condition is false then it goes to else same way we have default so there are four major components of uh, switch case one is called switch one is called the case one is called the break and one is called the default now let's talk about why do we write break statement you have noticed that in a switch case we don't have separate blocks for the cases like in if else we have uh, if block then else if then else block but here we don't have blocks okay so if we do not write break then after completing one case it will go to case 2 suppose the user has entered the value 1 so after running case 1 it will go to case 2 and after case 2 it will go to case 3 and 4 and 5 and then default also will execute so one after another all the cases will work if break statement is not written this situation is called fall through in switch case okay so in order to avoid fall through we will write break after every case so i have two questions here first one is uh, write a menu based program to perform the following task sum of two numbers find simple interest and find profit percentage from selling price and cost price okay so i have typed the first program this is my menu which i have created using print statements okay and uh, then i am taking input the choice in uh, menu based program we have to take input choice and this is my switch case according to the syntax which i showed you so switch ch and these are the cases case 1 is the complete program of uh, finding sum of two numbers case 2 is the complete program for finding uh, si means simple interest from uh, principal rate and time and case 3 is the program for finding profit percentage okay one thing you have to remember that is uh, if you declare any variable in the switch case suppose you declare a and b two variables in case 1 so you cannot declare a and b again in case 2 and onward till the end of the switch case means if you want to use a and b again yeah you can use it no problem but don't write int a again in case 2 don't write int b again in case 2 if you write that means you are declaring variable a and b twice this you have to keep in mind and i have already told you about the fall through in switch case so if you don't write break then one after another all the cases will work okay and this is my default also the statement i have written wrong choice now let me show you the output of this one how it works i will also show you if what will happen if i don't write break statement so this is my program which i have just created okay this is the way the menu will be displayed you can see the menu over here 
सो इट्स शोइंग दैट इंटर चॉइस वन सम ऑफ टू नंबर टू फाइंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट थ्री फाइंड प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज फ्रॉम सेलिंग प्राइस एंड कॉस्ट प्राइस आई हैव टू पिक वन ऑप्शन लाइक आई एम सेलेक्टिंग टू सो इंटर पी आर टी प्रिंसिपल एट एन टाइम दिस इज माई प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट दिस इज माई रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड टाइम आई हैव कीपिंग टाइम आई एम कीपिंग टू सो दिस इज माई एस आई वैल्यू सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ओके ना यू नोटिस दैट ओनली द केस टू वर्क इफ आई सपोज एंटर वन then only the case one will work right but if i remove break statement this is the program if i remove break statements from everywhere then it is not going to create any kind of error or something okay no error syntax error you will not get as you can see class compiled no syntax error but when i execute this program suppose i enter the choice one then case one will work and then case two will also work okay and then case 3 will also work and then default will also be displayed wrong choice so all the cases will work one after another if you don't put break statement okay now let's proceed to the second question where we have the choices as a and b in this choices are given as character so i'm going to show you that part how to deal with the choices as character so i have created my second program choices where a and b so when i am making the menu i have to mention like this a for greater between two numbers and b for uh, you know check triangle formation possible or not and when you are taking input character it has to be sc dot next dot caret 0 okay sc is my scanner object whatever object name you have that object name dot next dot caret 0 and uh, your cases will be like this case a case b within single quotes by the way notice that I have written if else program in the case a. So yeah, inside of such case, inside the cases also you can write if else program. That's not a problem. So this is the code for uh, finding greater between two numbers that I have written. And case b is the one which is for checking triangle formation is possible or not. Let me show you the output. So this is my program which I am executing now. It's the menu over here a and b. So if I enter a. then i have to enter two numbers and it will tell me which number is greater that is done if i enter b the choice as b then i have to enter three sides to check if the triangle formation is possible or not in this case it is not possible and if i enter anything else like if the user enters one choices where a and b but the user enters one suppose so it says wrong choice okay that's all for this video thank you everyone